Hey everybody, it's Katie here with another episode of Live and Learn. I just love doing these. I love meeting all of these awesome women. Now, not only here locally in Arizona, as you know, I'm in the Phoenix area, but from across the country because hello Zoom, we can do that now. So I am super, super excited to have Amanda Woodbury here with me. Uh, Woodbury, Woodbury, how do we pronounce that, Amanda? Woodbury. All right, I did okay. Sometimes I don't, so you got to catch me. And she is with Unravel Your Stress, and I've been telling her not to do the whole spoiler alert because we talk a little bit before you know the, the show starts and everything. And I said, Don't tell me about what you do. Don't tell me. Don't tell me because I am so flipping fascinated, and I cannot wait to learn with all of you what this lovely, lovely little lady does. So, Amanda, please, please, the red carpet is yours, my dear. Awesome. So I am Amanda Woodbury and I am a mindset and crochet coach. And I'm also a pattern designer for those of you who already know how to crochet. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about your journey. Was crocheting something that you just always did growing up? Was that what you and grandma bonded over? Like, tell me a little bit about how you got to what you do now. Awesome. So Oh, so it was about six years ago that I was inspired to learn how to crochet and I'll try not to get too emotional because it can can be a little emotional. So I was a bored stay at home mom looking for something to do because my children are extremely independent. Even from the time they were walking, they're like, I don't need you mama. So I was bored and I was going through my old stash of hand-me-downs that my mom had given me. And I came across this old dingy garbage bag and I peeked inside and I saw these amazing, beautiful crafted doilies. And we all know what doilies are, right? Mm -hmm. What grandma makes and puts on the counter or on the table, right? <laughs> so this is actually the piece that I had found. Um, so these were actually created by my late grandmother, Millie, who I never actually met. She passed away when I was about two. Um, so when I found these doilies and I pulled this one out, I literally felt her love at that moment. Yeah. I felt her inspiration. I felt her joy. And I just literally felt everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? How did she do this? How can I do this? And so I called up my mom and I was like, hey mom, what is this? And she told me it was crochet. And I was like, I just let it go. I was like, okay, whatever. So I went to YouTube and I searched crochet and I started learning how to crochet that day and I learned everything the wrong way. <laughs> it, YouTube has its place, but hence that's why I'm a crochet coach. Um, and so basically through, that's where it all started was I basically started self-teaching and about six months in, I had a stack, like stacks this tall of hats and headbands and anything I can crochet all over my living room. And my husband was like, what are you doing with this? I can, you're not giving it up anytime soon. And I was like, I don't know. And then I had an opportunity to do a craft fair, which I'd never done a craft fair before. So I set up my little booth and I made money. And I was like, ooh, I can sell things that I make and people love it. So that's where I started my original business and that's called Amanda's Cute Crochet. And I marketed that for several years. And then it kind of got into, I started teaching kind of by an unwanted accident. Okay. So I had a friend, my best friend, her daughter was 12 and she kept bugging me and bugging me. I want to do what you do. Teach me how to crochet. I'm like, I don't know how to teach this. I'm not good enough. I don't know what I don't know. You know, I'm not, I'm not there yet. And she finally just sat down next to me, grabbed any yarn, any hook that did not match, by the way. And she said, I'm going to make what you're making. So I taught her how to make a can cozy. And it was amazing. And I was like, holy crap. I know what I know. I can teach this. So then I started getting my instructor certification. I'm actually a nationally certified crochet instructor in two businesses. Woo yes. So I am, I got, I, I got all the certifications. Um, so then through those certifications, you have to prove that you can teach. So you have to take on people to teach. And that's when I really started expanding it. And it was within that, 
that I started really picking up on the mindset side of crochet. So it wasn't something that I intentionally started with. It just kind of happened. And then I felt the direction of the crochet and the mindset coaching. Um, so yeah, like that's basically the really long winded story. <laughs> no, that's, that's great. And super inspirational. Tell me, talk to me a little bit more about the mindset thing. How does that all talk to me about that? Absolutely. So, so a lot of creative people already tap into that section of the brain and what happens it's, it's, I call it brain magic because what happens is when you light up the creative centers of your brain, your brain can think more clearly and more focused. So if you think about it, when you are painting or when you are creating something, you are able to start thinking of other things in a more clearer way, right? So if you mm -hmm. have something that's bothering you, like a situ, like something you might be regretting, somebody that pissed you off and, oh, sorry. Yeah, please. <laughs> And, and you're just, you sit there and you think about it and then you're able to think other ways that you can resolve that situation that you might not think of when you're in that moment of anger, you're in that moment of guilt, something, your brain is blocked when you're not thinking clearly, but mm -hmm. when we bring a creative aspect to it, you are able to start thinking of different perspectives of that situation. So that's how, so really crocheting is just the tool that I utilize to bring that in. So essentially, while you're learning how to crochet, you're also learning how to meditate, you're learning how to focus, you're learning how to organize your thoughts, you're able to really just look at whatever's bu bugging you that week or that moment, just really expand it. And you're able to overcome and get through that situation a little bit easier. So it's, it can be extremely life-changing for people. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about, so now you're working with people, not only, correct me if I'm wrong, not only are you teaching crochet, but you're also, I love the old school ring girlfriend. That is awesome. It needs to have a ring. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So not only are you teaching crochet, you're certified and all that jazz, which is really cool, but you found this correlation between meditation and kind of all that thing that you explained. Um, <clears throat> so now you're guiding people through that. Tell me a little bit about that. So I want to share a story because that's how I explain what I do is best in stories. So when I was, so basically how I really came to really, really get that mindset involved with crochet was I had a client who, um, who came to me, I, I was looking for students to teach. And as a, this was like right out of the gate of my first certification. So I was like, You're, I need guinea pigs just to make sure. And so she was like, Hey, I want to learn how to crochet. And we have a history of each other. So we're really comfortable with each other anyway. Mm -hmm. And she was in her darkest moment of her life and she was just looking for something that she could literally grab onto to help her through day by day. And so crochet became something for her in that moment. And when it's, it's a heavy story. So it, it, yeah, I feel the emotion. Yeah. And so she was in a very dark place and she was able to, um, take a crochet homework because I give out homework <laughs> <laughs> like any good teacher would <laughs> and she literally used her project and she had to tell herself just another row just make another row to literally save her life one day and so she used it as a coping mechanism and it literally saved her life that day and when she told me about that after the crying moment, yeah, um, I, I really had that aha. And I was, and so I really was like, okay, this is, this saves lives point blank. Yep. This, this is how I'm going to be able to help as many women as possible, because we all know there's the mental health stigma, especially when you're a mother, mm -hmm. especially when you're an entrepreneur and 
it's not, I think it's something that needs to be talked about. And if crochet is the tool that helps you have another day to spread your message, to me, that's everything. At the end of the day, that's what I, why I do what I do. What an amazing, touching story. Um, and I think I, I know more about that story than what you're sharing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a bit emotional for me too. Um, so what does it look like when somebody says, hey, I want to get in touch with Amanda. I want to travel down this road. What, if I were to do that, what does it look like? So basically, you just contact me um, through either my Facebook page or my Facebook group. Um, which I know you're going to be linking those, um, but for those who don't have that link right now, it's you can follow me on um, Unravel Your Stress. It's just a Facebook page. It's not as busy. I just kind of do basic posting there because all the guts and the glory is all in the group, the Beginners Club. Of course. Um, so basically, what happens is you reach out to me. You say, "Hey, I want to get to. I want. I need some help with my mindset, and I want to learn crochet." Um, basically we just sit down in a one-on-one -on -one video call like this and we have that conversation and it is absolutely private because obviously this is your life. Mm -hmm. um, it's not to be shared publicly if you don't want it to be. We sit down, we talk about, are you in it for literally just the crochet and the mindset is just a side effect that's going to happen for you? Or are you in it for the mindset and crochet is just going to be your tool and so you need to learn how to do that. So we have that one-on-one -on -one conversation um, and then we start designing the program that my six week program to your needs. So I will know, okay, so we're going to focus on this or we're going to focus on this. And then I plan the program around you. And so, yeah, like if you're already a crocheter and you pretty much already know the basics of crochet, then you can still join into this program. Um, what we do is we just, make it to where the things that you're going to learn on the crochet level are things that you want to learn. Maybe a new stitch pattern, maybe, you know, a new combination of stitches um, because there's all millions and millions of combinations out there. Um, and so it really is an individualized program. And, and this is something that it knows no boundaries. It doesn't matter if I'm in England or Hawaii. I wish I was in Hawaii or Hawaii or something like that. Right. Well, there, uh, the only slight limitation that I would put on it literally is if you happen to be across the pond, if you mm -hmm. happen to be over in the UK, um, their crochet terms are slightly different. Oh, okay. So there's US terms and there's UK terms. Um, I teach US terms. Gotcha. So while it's, it's not impossible, I can translate, but you might have a little bit more difficulty and it, the learning process might be a little bit tougher. Um, because of the, yeah, yeah, there's just a complete different standards. The names are, of the stitches are different. So yeah, it's- That's really interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah It's just a different language. Really? Oh, crochet is definitely a different language. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, as far as um, you, you know, you meet online and things like that, so- oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, I totally, yeah, definitely meet online if you happen to be in Idaho and on the east near me locally. Um, I do teach in person as well. Oh, nice. So I, that's a small majority, of course, but um, for, for everyone else who doesn't live next to me, basically, um, yeah, we just go on Zoom once a week, meet for six weeks, and you're good. That's awesome. Gotta love Zoom, man. Mm -hmm. So you've got the, the group that you just mentioned. Um, you got the page, all that. Do you have anything else that is coming up that you would like to mention that maybe moms can tap into, or is it just best that they join the group? Um, right now, I would say start with joining the group. Okay. Um, it is open publicly. Um, however, on starting next week, I will be opening up three seats to my Mindset Coaching with a Hook. Oh. So I, um, I usually don't. I try to limit to only five clients at a time because I am the only instructor. Mm. Um, so time is absolutely valuable for me and you. So I only take on five at a time. So when one 
person, one of my clients is about done, then I replace that seat pretty much regularly. So about every six weeks, a new seat comes up. This time it happens to be three. Awesome. Well, there's going to be three lucky people that I'm sure are going to be filling those. Yes. Fabulous. So we, we, we will, just like you said, we will post your group and your page. So that way people can connect, if, especially if they're watching this on the replay. Um, is there any other way or anything else that you would like our audience to, or you would like to offer our audience to connect with? Um, really, when you think about mindset and crochet as a sisterhood, think of it with an open mind. Uh, because, because not a lot of people think crochet helps with mental illness and health and not a lot of people think work on mindset. You can do that with crochet. And I'm not, I do want to mention though, that I'm not the type of mindset coach that's going to tell you breathe deep, think of unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> that is not the mindset coaching. I do real in your face life style coaching. I've seen some crap. I've all my mindset is all experience based. I have not gone through life coaching programs or anything of that sort. And so I really just help you open up your mindset in a real life situation. Um, we take anything. Um, I do mention meditation. I do mention journaling. I know that's what everybody else says, but it really actually helps. I'm so <laughs> Totally agree. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. It was great getting to know you a little bit better. And I was one of those people that was like, what, how do these two, I don't get it. So thank you for clearing that up for me. It makes a ton of sense. I know you're amazing at what you do because I know some people who have experienced you. So definitely mamas, if you think, if you love crochet, if you always wanted to learn it, hook up with Amanda. If you have a little bit of depression, feel like you need a little bit of mindset work, you need some meditation, something, something new, cool, and fresh, hook up with Amanda. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. Bye. Bye.